Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Amini, I'm a PhD student in MIT CCL and today I'm very excited to share our work on learning robust control policies for end-to-end -end autonomous driving using a new data-driven simulation engine we've developed called Vista. End-to-end -end learning for robotic control refers to learning a model that transforms raw perception data directly into actuation commands for the robot. Many practical approaches for end-to-end -end learning for autonomous vehicles fall under what is known as imitation learning, wherein a human must first collect a gold standard data set of driving that can be used to train a supervised model. However, even with ideal data sets, these models suffer when placed in new or slightly different states or scenarios on the road where the human has not collected data from. And collecting data from these near crash or safety critical scenarios is obviously not feasible for human drivers due to the safety considerations in the real world, not only from the driver's point of view, but also for the safety of other vehicles and pedestrians around the vehicle. In this project, we create a platform that enables autonomous agents to navigate anywhere within an entire simulated space around where the human drove and learn to drive without explicit human supervision. By exposing agents to this simulated environment during training, it can learn to deal with these challenging edge cases and perform its control task in the real world. There have been many works recently tackling this problem, especially in the context of learning sim to real control policies. However, all of these works suffer from either poor photorealism, such that the learned policies do not transfer to the real world or full-scale robotic systems, inability to capture the environment's semantic complexity of the real world, or are unable to scale beyond smaller indoor environments or make key restrictive assumptions about the simplicity of the scene. Our work tackles these limitations through two novel contributions. First, we develop a brand new photorealistic and rich simulator that re leverages real-world driving data instead of pre-modeled scenes and subsequently demonstrate that policies can be learned end-to-end -end within the simulation engine for direct deployment into the real world using sparse reward signals and reinforcement learning. Let's take a look at an example simulated scene to understand our first contribution a little bit more. We can start with the raw data collected by a human driver on a highway on the left video from a video camera mounted on the car. Using our simulator, we're able to synthesize a brand new trajectory, for example, the trajectory of a vehicle oscillating on the same road, but now of a virtual agent. And we can actually see how the vehicle's point of view or viewpoint changes under these new control commands in this virtual environment. We enable self-reinforcing our controller by dropping our agent in one of these simulated environments. It receives an observation from the simulator as input and decides what action to take based on that observation. The simulator updates based on that desired action to return the next simulated observation that the vehicle would see. And that loop continues as the agent begins to autonomously explore the environment. Since the agent has no ground truth human control labels during this process, the environment has to also provide some rewards to the agent so that it can progressively learn. In our case, the agent is a neural network and the environment is our simulator, Vista. Let's look at how Vista is working under this abstracted view. Here we can see the same pipeline in an expanded, more detailed view. On the left side, we can see the agent receiving a simulated observation and stepping with some action inside of Vista. Agents can move within Vista by leveraging a database of driving scenes and monocular depth estimation. Let's now walk through how our data-driven simulator actually works and can synthesize these new observations for the agent step by step. The underlying backbone of the Vista simulator is real data. And this is the reason how we are able to achieve such photorealistic results. We start with an RGB video collected of a scene. And given this video, we want to synthesize what a new agent 
uh, may see if they executed a different set of control commands than the human who collected this video. Vista operates on a monocular camera images one frame at a time, so let's consider for now a single RGB frame in the video first. We can feed this frame through a, mon a monocular depth estimation pipeline to estimate the depth of every pixel in the scene. Now for every pixel in the scene, we have information on its color as well as its depth. With this combined information, we can project every pixel in our image out into three-dimensional Cartesian space. In fact, from extrinsic camera calibration, we even know exactly where the vehicle was in this new projection, and we can visualize it as well as the scene from many different new viewpoints or vistas. Furthermore, rigid transformations such as rotations and translations of the scene can be easily computed relative to the original camera placement. And we can even spawn new virtual agents into this scene, here illustrated as this green vehicle, and synthesize its viewpoints as it moves through the scenes by way of lateral and longitudinal translations, as well as rotations. These agents can also have new virtual camera locations. We can spawn more cameras or even multiple agents into this scene while projecting these views back into the frame of each of their virtual sensors. This process is repeated frame by frame to synthesize photorealistic scenes with dynamic agents, objects, and sensor placements. Now that we've discussed how agents within Vista can act and observe the scene autonomously, let's discuss how we can optimize a policy within this framework. Since the agent is not given any human control signals, we have to optimize its control based on a higher level or more interpretable reward function, such as do not crash, in which case the agent gets a reward of one if it stays within the lane, and it gets a reward of zero if it exits. Doing so allows us to learn a policy, pi, of how to act given the current state by iteratively sampling stochastic rollouts within the environment, and then optimizing the agent to maximize its own expected sum of rewards over these episodes. This formulation is known as Monte Carlo policy gradient optimization in reinforcement learning literature. After optimizing autonomous policies within Vista, we set out to test the transferability of these policies on our full-scale autonomous vehicle in the real world. We found that policies trained only within the Vista simulator were able to be deployed without any adjustments or transfer learning. We benchmark against other state-of-the-art sim to real methods, such as domain randomization, domain augmentation, and even real-world imitation learning. We found that agents trained within the Vista simulator were the only algorithms capable of direct transfer without crashing in over 10 kilometers of testing throughout our autonomous testing site. Furthermore, we found that models trained within Vista were significantly more robust than state-of-the-art imitation learning models and were able to recover more frequently when started in near-crash scenarios. We considered starting, in, starting the robot in extreme edge cases, as illustrated by the four configurations shown here. We start the controller after being placed in these extreme scenarios and judge its ability to recover within five seconds. Again, Vista-trained agents, shown here in yellow, demonstrated significantly improved robustness even when comparing against imitation learning policies which were trained entirely with real-world driving data. This is due to the fact that within the Vista simulator, the virtual agents were able to autonomously explore the environment and likely encounter these challenging edge cases and learn to recover from them already. In summary, in this project, we demonstrate the first full-scale autonomous vehicle trained using only reinforcement learning entirely in simulation capable of being deployed into the real world. If you're interested in learning more about this work, please visit our project website linked here in blue and thank you for your attention.